Hi ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to thank you all for coming to celebrate the wedding of Kitty and Gabe today. So as people know, Kitty would do anything for anybody and she's a heart of gold and ankles of steel. Uh, so we're all very proud of you Kitty and what you achieved after your accident, you've done so well. On you Gabe, but I'd like to say thank you for putting up with Kitty. And I know she's very happy and the day has finally come and I know Joseph will be happy that his favourite uncle and favourite auntie are now called Fella. After having four boys in a row, finally on the 19th of September 1993, all of Mary's prayers were answered when Catherine arrived. Her perfect little girl, all she'd ever wanted in her new best friend. Now today, 29 years later, Mary has watched that perfect little girl turn into a fella. I want to finish up just by thanking Kitty and Gabe for making me a part of their big day. And just to say that I love you both and I can't wait to see what the future holds for you. So raise a glass and up the fellas. And now for the beautiful bride, who looks absolutely incredible today. Um, we met in Ibiza in 2014 and I would love to say that it was love at first sight, but I don't think either of us could see properly. Uh, and when I got home I had a Facebook request from a certain Cathy Mary and that was that. We would go for dinner and drinks in Glasgow and then we started hanging out at each other's house, which usually consisted of watching an omnibus of You Been Framed episodes on ITV2. But I remember there came a point where I realised I wasn't even watching the show and I was just sitting listening to Kitty giggling away at all these people falling over and I thought, she's alright. Then a year into our relationship, we went go-karting and Kitty broke both her ankles. Um, and when she got home from hospital, I had to do everything for her, for her uh, waiting on her hand and foot, getting anything she wanted whenever she asked. And from that point on, she never looked back. <laughs> um, I will always have so much admiration for the strength and courage that you showed throughout that full time. Kitty, you're smart, you're kind, you're caring, you always make me laugh. <laughs> We've had so many amazing memories together and I can't wait to make many more for the rest of our lives. Um, so if you could please all be upstanding and raise a glass to the new Mrs Fella. I couldn't ask for a better best friend over the last 24 years. We, 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 went, we went through all of life's big moments together from learning to ride bikes, to drinking in the park at 13, to, be, to being a couple of married 28 year olds. I've got countless stories that I could tell from my holidays from Mulder, Tina Park, Cream Fields, but a memory that makes me laugh every day and I'm reminded every day is that we've got matching tattoos of our chest from Ibiza. This is where Cave and Kitty's love story began. It doesn't get more romantic than the Highlander bar in the Ibiza strip. And I'm not sure if it wasn't for Kitty's consistent texting and phone calls that we'd even be standing here today. Over the last eight years, Kitty hasn't just been my mate's girlfriend, we've grown a real close relationship as well. She's honestly one of the funniest people I've ever met. And Kitty, I feel really lucky to call you a friend. 